Evelyn, good evening. Thank you for joining. It is exactly the time to get started. So here we go, okay? And uh, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, Evelyn, because time flies, okay? And let me see over here. So you're going to be a listener today, Evelyn. And here, let me see. Okay, from the beginning, here and here. Now, Evelyn says she's a listener. Daniel, welcome. Good evening, Edwin Esau. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening to all of you. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, okay, while the others join. And here we go, okay. Today is September 19th, 2023. And here we go. In the agenda, we have the welcoming as every single day. Uh, the objectives, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives in the activities that you are going to work on today class is listing five activities that you do in a regular day obviously at your workplace not at home but at your workplace then you will be practicing a conversation describing activities people do in a regular day at work people in general right also you will be answering comprehension questions obviously based on the conversation you're going to read and practice a lot you will create a conversation describing my tasks in a regular day at work in other words you are going to personalize a conversation using your real information and you are expected to write a five-line paragraph about what your boss or a colleague does at your workplace so that is the agenda for today and here a reminder, because tomorrow we have our class number 10, which means tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to finish section two on the platform and unit number two in your manual. In other words, tomorrow by midnight, section number two and the midterm test must be over. Because it is necessary to get, you know this, at least, at least the 80% as an average in homeworks and evaluations, okay, to get your diploma. And you know that the homeworks and evaluations are on the learning platform, okay, Plataforma de Aprendizaje. And then the requirements, your full name on the screen, as I can see, Evelyn Yamilet, only Daniel Ernesto. And your last name, Daniel Ernesto, what's your last name? Daniel Ernesto, tell me your last name. Um, no, no lo puedo agregar. Daniel Ernesto Membreño Rivas. Membreño, Membreño Rivas, ¿ya? Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Okay, I'm renaming you. Thank you. There's no problem. Okay. And then, in the case of listeners, add the word listener and the camera on during all the session. It is the expectation. The sound must be minimized, right, as much as possible so we can listen to others participate and we can listen to their voices clearly and active participation 100%. Then again, a reminder for the attendance, it is expected that you need must be connected 100% of the classes. Every meeting that we have counts 120 minutes. Yeah, and the platform starts counting since the very first second that you log in and the administration counts the seconds and the minutes for <clears throat> your attendance. Remember, every day I take the attendance twice. The first time at least at 8.20 and around 9.40, the second chance you know that your attendance is going to be valid and effective when we listen to your voice saying, presente, present, here I am, or here. 
And at the end, the one-on-one -on -one session is available for one of you to stay with me after class. Unfortunately, permissions, uh -uh, they are not allowed. I don't have that permission to give you. Neither the administration. You know, again, the silence microphone, camera on, the two chats available, breakout rooms available for you. The ask for help button also available for you and respect above all. Okay. So that, here we go. This is week number two. Today is September 19th. As I was telling you from the very beginning class, tomorrow, September the 20th, we are expected to finish week number two and section number two and the midterm test must be over, finished in the platform, okay? And then here is your participation class. I need one of you to help me reading the objectives. Only one volunteer, who is going to be that volunteer? It can be a he or a she. Volunteers, only one. Don't run, you're going to fall if you run. Se van a caer si corren. Okay, to turn on the microphone and volunteer. Okay. A specific objective. Participants will be able to describe a current routine at the workplace. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Continue. Okay, the participants will apply simple present in simple sentences. And the specific objective? Miss, where are you? Miss Daisy, continue with the specific objective and the class objective, please. Daisy, do you listen to me? Yes, it is. Okay, you have to read the specific objective and the class objective too, please. Pause. Yes. Okay, a specific objective. Participant will be able to describe a calling routine at the workplace. In class objective, at the end of the class, participant will describe a college routine at the workplace using simple present. Thank you so much. So class, today you are going to have a feedback on the simple present tense that you already know and you master because you began studying the simple present tense in module number one, level basic, okay? Very basic level. Now you our masters in that uh, topic. You're going to show me how much you have learned during these uh, five previous modules. And then here, but before we go over this, we're going to have a short feedback in case that one of you was absent yesterday. Okay, because in here, let me see where is it. Okay, here. Class, if you remember yesterday, we were working on a schedule activity at work, yes? You were practicing this conversation in the groups, the breakout rooms, you switched roles, you looked carefully to this timetable or schedule in, in a restaurant, and you answered these questions, right? And then we went over exercise number four, and you were answering these comprehension questions based on the information on this uh, schedule in a restaurant. After that, you were writing five questions that you were addressing. You were asking those questions to your classmates, okay? And at the end, you prepared this, uh, about five or six of you presented almost at 10. There's a... Uh, information about your partners, yes? So right now we're going to start with this. And here we go, okay? The very first activity is this one. You are going to be listing five activities that you do in a regular day. 
at your workplace, not at home, only at work. The purpose is to list five activities activities you do in a regular day at work yeah the instructions are as a class we're going to work and listen to the instructions later you're going to work in groups in a small groups in the breakout rooms and you are going to ask and answer the questions in exercise one page 25 okay these are the questions okay for example, who interviews which future employees in your company? And you have to list five activities you do in a regular day. Before we go to the breakout rooms, you are going to go over this, okay? You have to write five activities that you do in a regular day at work. If I ask one of you, for example, let me see. Oi. Too many people as listeners. I don't know what Insaforp is going to say. Okay, but here we go. If I say, hi, just a few people available in order to practice. Mm. Let's start with Mr. Uh... Ah, only boys. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Tell me five activities that you do in a regular day at work five only five activities that you do in a regular day okay so class when i tell him in a regular day it means he can be monday tuesday uh wednesday thursday or friday yeah in a during the day he's going to name five activities that he does okay thank you Mr. Guillermo Eduardo. Okay. Um, the first one, I drink coffee every day at my work. <laughs> <laughs> to I be drink productive, water. To be productive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, I need to drink a lot of water in yes. my work. Mm -hmm. mm, I read and answer uh, emails. Okay. I attend meetings with my supervisor. And also, I answer the phone every day. Excellent. Very well. So you see, those are the regular activities that you do every day at work. Okay? So um, I need you to write. And when you write the five activities that you do in a regular day at your workplace, then we are going to start practicing. But I think that one, two three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Only seven students are available. The others are just listeners. Okay. I'm going to share that slide with you, class, so you can have it in case that you have any problem or you are commuting. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to share them with you via WhatsApp. The two questions. Here we go. Okay. Here. Let me see. Okay, there you are. When you finish writing those five activities, you tell me, class, okay? So we can continue.
finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, yes? And here we go. Remember, the two questions are these, yes? The first one, who interviews future employees in your company? Who interviews future employees in your company? And list five activities you do in a regular day. List five activities you do in a regular day. And that's it. So here we go. Okay, let me see. Okay, hold it. And then in here, okay. let me see for groups. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation class. Join your groups, please, and begin asking and answering, please. Join your groups if you are so nice. Okay, here you are, Daniel Ernesto, Ursula Esteli, Maritza Elizabeth, and Guillermo. Begin asking and answering the questions, please. Okay, teacher, uh, what questions? I'm sorry. Okay, the ones that I share with you via WhatsApp, the questions are at page 25, exercise <coughs> number one in your module, okay? Oh, Who okay. interviews the new, okay? Who interviews okay. future employees in your company? And when the partner answers the question, then you ask, list of five activities you do in a regular day, okay? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, how do you say, um, I don't know, it, it is correct to say the personnel of human resources? Of human, the resources human resources staff. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. thank you Because so much. it can be any of them, yeah? Okay, thank you so okay. much. Okay, my pleasure. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Lonely, alone. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to transfer you to another group so you can practice, okay? Okay. Yeah, because the other ones cannot practice with you. So let me see. Mm, okay. Miss Jennifer, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? Okay. Okay. And then we move to the other group. My case, uh, in my case, is the the humor is resource manager. And question number one. Human uh, Resources Manager, Human Resources Manager. 
Human Resources Manager. Okay. Uh, and question number two, attend the, the start of Chief's meeting. Uh, check the, the agenda. Calling calling the client on the phone on the phone, check tools and vehicles. Uh, re repair it accessories uh, and what will be involved in the work to be done. Very well, Noe. Congratulations! Great effort. Good. Okay, next participant. Hello. Eduardo ya dijo la suya. Hello. Mr. Flores, okay. if you... Okay. In the first question, who are the future employees in your company? The first filter is a supervisor. Uh, the supervisor continue the human resource. Uh, and finally, uh, test the polygraphy. In the least five activities you do in a regular day, uh, calling my customers, uh, send emails, uh, attend the clients and, and support a cashier on that. Very well. And okay, and Jennifer? Okay. For the first question, who interviews future employees in your company is the human resources manager and the CEO. Um, then list five activities you do in a regular day. The first, I think I open the branch. That's one of my responsibilities every day. Then I attend meetings every, every Monday or Tuesday. Um, then I received products or send products to the other branches. Then I um, send emails. Then I call clients and uh, make some customer customer service. That is. Okay, very well. Thank you so much. So all of you have a lot of responsibilities in one single day of the week. Probably they are routines. Yes, for example, Jennifer says that she opens the, the branch. That is her responsibility. It means that it is a routine. Yes, because every day you open the, the place. Is that correct, Jennifer? Yes. Okay, and uh, who closes the facilities? Who closes the facilities, Miss? I don't get it. A facilities uh, means the place. Ah, uh -huh. me. <laughs> facilities in uh, Spanish stands for the building or the place, okay? Las instalaciones, yeah? I do it every day. I, uh, oh, okay, mm -hmm. so you open and you close the facilities or the branch. Yes, that's correct. Okay, very well. Now, class, let's return to the main session room, okay? So we can continue with the other class and I can take your attendance. Thanks for the active participation to the three of you. Okay, let's get back.
Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return because I have. Uh, from people who are still, but in two seconds, they must be back. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to call your names. Ursula Esteli. Ursula Esteli. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Susana Carolina. Susana Carolina, absent. Sonia, Sonia, absent at the moment. Rosalie Yvonne, okay. here, okay. Now, Ana Cristina, absent. Andre is absent. Uh, Arely Isabel, Absent at the moment. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique Rivas is absent at the moment. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Okay, here. David Emanuel. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Daisy Carolina. Daisy, where are you? I lost the connectivity because she was here. Okay. Edwin Esau. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina is back. Okay, Reina. Present. Okay, thank you. El, eh, Carla Minero. Present teacher. Just in time. Evelyn Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Gil Yvonne. Absent. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you, Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni at the moment is absent. Okay. Jennifer. Present. Jennifer, you were absent yesterday. Yes, I was. Yes, were. okay. I thought I had made a mistake, but yes, okay. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores, Edward. Eduardo Flores. Ah, Present, tengo problemas con el mouse. Yes, I thought that you had problems with the connectivity. Rápido. Ah, okay. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Katia Maria. Katia, not she's absent. Okay. Miguel Angel Santos Cortez. Miguel Angel. Present ah, here. Okay. Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Noah. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo Melendez, absent at the moment. Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina. Your present. Okay. And, okay. Hold it. Okay, class, you see, we are uh, reviewing, having a feedback sure. on the simple present tense. Hey, Miss Sonia. Hi, you are here. Okay, I call your name. Sonia Esmeralda, you are here. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. For joining and telling me, okay? So, class, here we go. And uh, in our manual, we have uh, this. Okay, this is what we. These are the two questions that you were asking and answering. Okay, exercise number one. Right now, you are going to listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. 
the conversation goes like this, and it is between Celia and Marcus. Good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing or interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. One more time. Good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled, rescheduled some of them. Tomorrow, I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job, okay? Now, class, I need two participants in order to model this activity. Who is going to read Celia and who is going to read Marcus? I'm going to Hi, thank you, Rosalie. Bon You're going to read Celia. I need someone to read Marcus. Okay, I'm going to choose who is going to read Marcus. Um, I, it is a boy. My finger shows. Mr. Abrego Ramirez, are you ready to read Marcus? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Celia, you begin, Rosalie. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled uh, some of them tomorrow. I need to make sure... Uh, to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Very well, now you switch, switch roles. Celia, you read Marcos and Guillermo uh, uh, read Celia. Let's begin, sir. Good morning, Marcos. Uh, how is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing, interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some and of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Mm, just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, excellent, very well. So, 
as the instruction said, you are going to practice this conversation the same way that your two classmates did. First, you read it the first time as it is. Later, you switch roles, okay? You exchange roles. When you are done, everybody in the group is finished practicing twice the conversation. Then you move and you discuss the following questions and you answer them, okay? Over here, three questions, three comprehension questions. Is that okay? Is it clear? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, yes. I hope so. Anyways, I'm going to be monitoring your groups, okay? Here, um, but I'm going to um, recreate the groups because, let me see, I have more students by now. Okay, here we go, let me see. David, Emmanuel, can you participate or not? Fine. Because I have five people in here. Next teacher. Okay. Because there's one there's one group of five and the others are of four. Okay, I'm going to move to this. Let me see the others. And one, two, three. Okay. One. Okay, hold it. In the last one, we have uh, Danny, Maritza. Yeah, four people. Okay, here we go. I'm going to um, share with you the invitation, okay? Here we go. Mm, hold it. Okay, I'm going to add Jilly Bone later. I have two people here. Okay. The people who recently joined, I'm going to add you to a group, but I'm waiting for the rest to go so I can see where I can invite you to join, okay? I sent you the invitation, people. que responder las preguntas del punto 3. ¿Cómo? Good morning, okay. Marcos. How is how is your day going? Uh, pretty good. I just finished in interview. Inter no sé cómo se pronuncia. Interview. In, in, perdón. Inter interview. Interview. Ajá. Interview. Interview son potential employees then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule schedule I see I saw some people in the reception when I came yes I rescheduled some of the tomorrow I need to make some call or call 
in some minutes anyway how about you just the usual checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory I town ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Si gusta cambiamos. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I come. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Good, the usual. Checking that the, the... I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I saw ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential, potential employees. Then I have to talk the staff about some change the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. how about you? Yeah, um, the usual. Yeah, yeah. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, answer the question. Uh, have... Did okay. Danny participate? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, so Marisa. here. Okay, Rosalie, uh, Maritza, Dani, and Ursula. Okay, very well. Yes. And you switch roles. Yes. 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 Okay. And now you have to answer the questions. Okay, great. Okay. okay. Because the, the following what question. Kind of what kind of job? And in here, class, did you finish practicing the conversation twice? Yes, you switch roles. Ah, you only yes. Jennifer and Sonia. Yes. yes. Only... Did you answer the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So, in your opinion, girls, um, here we go. Okay. In your opinion, people, what kind of jobs the of job does Marcos have? I think he's the um, human resources manager. Oh, uh, pretty good. I just finished inter interviewing some potential employees, and I have to talk to the staff. Yeah, because he says I have to talk to the staff. Yes, or the supervisor, uh maybe. Uh-huh, because he doesn't say to my colleagues or my co-workers or my partners. Yes, probably. Very well. What are some of his responsibilities? Um, are those responsibilities? Talk to the Shake. staff about the changes, mm -hmm. make calls, check um, and interview the new employee. Order in the inventory. I know that's for Celia. And uh, okay, he he schedules uh, interviews. Yes, schedules and reschedules the interviews. Programa y reprograma las entrevistas. Yeah, because he says Marco says I reschedule some of them to, of them tomorrow. 
I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Yeah. So here, schedules and reschedules the uh, interviews to the potential new employees. And how similar are the activities they do with the ones that you do? Do you have any coincidence with the activities that both of them do? For me I don't... or about me? No, uh -huh. Sonia, continue. I, I am not teacher. Mm. You don't make phone calls, Sonia? Sonia, you don't make phone calls at work. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. yes. So yes, you yes. see you have a coincidence. Uh -huh. And yes. what about you, Miss Jennifer Beatrice? I was looking at checking that the personal is ready. Mm -hmm. And I I get to do that every day in the morning after after open the branch. Uh-huh. And what about yeah, co co mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now let's return and discuss with the other partners, okay? Okay. Thank you for your active participation, girls. Aha, uh -huh. Oscar Eduardo Melendez. I call your names and nobody answered. <gasps> no, I was about sorry, to cry. I, okay, Oscar. I arrived, I arrived to my house. A little uh, bit late. late. Okay, yes. Yes. The traffic, you know. It's a headache. But you are here. Thank you for joining. Okay. Now you're going to be updated with the activities that we are doing. Okay, Oscar, let's wait for the other partners to return. Actually, in two seconds. Okay, class, to the count of three, I need you to activate your cameras. I'm going to take the picture. Okay, activate your cameras if you are so nice, please. One, two, three. Ready? Nice smile. And say yes. Okay, magic was done. Now I'm going to share this uh, picture with you via WhatsApp. We. Who is? Hey, hold it. There's a message in the WhatsApp. Okay. Who's Carolina? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Hey, Let's Daisy. continue. Hello? Daisy, Daisy Carolina. Ah, but um, she says, estoy en Zoom, pero salió un mensaje que salía del grupo pequeño y decía esperar, pero ya no me conecta, no sé por qué. Mm, okay, maybe when we have problems with the internet connectivity, right? When it is not uh, uh, stable. So here we go. This is what you have been working with class, yes? Exercise number one, you were interviewing, uh, you were answering, asking and answering these questions. Who interviews future employees in your company? And you listed five activities that you do in a regular day at work. Later, you practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. Actually, we're coming back from that activity and you switch roles. But I also ask you to answer these comprehension questions. 
discuss the following questions and you are going to tell me class, okay? Here, what kind of jobs does Marcos have? What do you think? According to what he mentions in the conversation. Class, what kind of jobs does Marcos have? Human resources. Human resources? Yes. Okay, yes, but uh, he belongs to the human mm -hmm. resources. Yes. Is he um, a member of the staff? Is he a supervisor or is he the manager? The manager, I think. Oh, manager probably. or supervisor? Yes, because yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. listen to what he says. Yeah, yeah. Marco says, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes, okay? And also he says, I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff. If you are not the CEO, if you are not the manager, if you are not the coordinator or supervisor in the human resources, you don't use that expression, correct? I have to talk to the staff. You say, I have to talk to my partners, my colleagues, or my co-workers. So that is why I, uh, we think that probably he is uh, the manager or he is uh, the coordinator of the area or the supervisor. What about question number two? What are some of his responsibilities? Name some of the responsibilities Marcus has at his work. Talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Okay, excellent. Great. Another one? Hello, class. Tell me another activity that he does at work. Interview some potential employees. Excellent. Very well. He interviews some potential employees. Another one? Uh-huh. Organize the schedule. He organizes the schedules and reschedules, okay, the interviews and makes Make. some calls. He yes. makes some calls. Uh, also, he makes some calls. Yes, very well. Now, question number three. This is personal, your reality. How similar are the activities they do? Celia and Marcos with the activities that you do at work. Name one or two that you have in common with both of them. Make some calls. Okay, great. Okay, that is the coincidence that Jennifer has with uh, Marcos and Celia. Another student that has something in common with these two guys. Nobody else has. Uy. What do you do then? In my case, no teacher. Nobody. Another. No, mm. you don't you don't or nobody orders here the inventory. No. Mm, let me see. Nobody interviews some potential employees. No. Okay. No. Okay, good. Thank you. Now I'm going to stop sharing this because I'm going to share. Let me see here. Okay. You're going to work on another activity that is not in the book. Okay. Um, here I need you to write a list of the most common activities that you do at work. For example, because at the beginning I ask you and the manual ask you to write uh, or to name five activities that you regularly do at work in a day. But in a week, what do you do? For example, you may say, I answer the phone, I call clients, I assist customers, I write reports, I sell products, I attend meetings, I schedule meetings, maybe, uh, you don't attend meetings, but you schedule the meetings depending on the duties that you have to do at work. 
I arrange the agenda, I work with the machinery, I supervise the staff, I visit clients, because it is different to visit clients uh, than to call clients. I take orders, I buy products, I place orders, I design plans, or I design schedules, whatever the activities that you do. I purchase uh, merchandise, yes. If you are in the purchasing area, in el area de compras, yeah. I purchase merchandise, I don't know, or I buy products. So I need you to write at least 10 activities that you do at work in a week. Is that okay? Regular activities that you do in a week. At the beginning, I mean, you may say also, I have a, I have a break. I have a coffee break. Yes, there are some people who have a moment, a special moment to have a cup of coffee as an energizer and to be more productive in the morning or in the evening. I don't know. It depends. Yeah. In some companies, they have a gym. And it is also as a booster for employees in order to have happy employees. And they give a specific time for the employees to do that. Or uh, they have a, a yoga class. Or what else do many people do in the different companies? In some companies, they have a a game station so they can get relaxed, yes? So you write your activities, 10 activities, and then we're going to exchange our list of activities that we regularly do in a week at work, okay? And when you finish, you tell me, okay? So we can go over the next activity. Are the instructions clear, class? Yes, okay. If you have a question, please let me know.
did you finish the activities, students? Not yet, more or less. I, let me see if I, I didn't, I didn't lose the connectivity. Teacher, uh -huh. you, okay. you can repeat what is the activity? I have yeah. even any issues. You have to write 10 activities that you do in a regular week at work. That's it. Okay. Okay. And I was showing to you this example. Okay. For instance, I answer the phone, I call clients, I assist customers, I write reports, I sell products, I attend meetings, I schedule meetings, I arrange the agenda, I work with machinery, I supervise the staff, I visit clients, I take orders, I buy products, I place orders, I design plans, I repair machines, whatever, depending on the nature of your work. Yes, only 10, but in a regular week.
Now you are ready, correct? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Yes, teacher. Remember speaking. You are going to read your activities and to, uh, listen to the partner's activities that they do. And you check if you have any activity in common, any coincidence, okay? I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, but hold it, okay? The problem is when there are a lot of listeners and one participant. But anyways, here we go. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay, Carla is waiting for Guillermo and Eduardo Flores. Oscar, Eduardo, I'm going to uh, share the invitation with you right now, okay? Noé. I'm going to share the invitation with you at this moment. Go to group number two. And let's see. Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi, teacher. Okay, I'm going to share the invitation with you right now, okay? At ah, this sorry. moment. Okay, right now. Es que voy llegando a casa, entonces. Ah, that is why, okay? Go to group number one. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Here. Okay. And Catherine, I'm going to share the invitation with you, okay? Okay. Go to group in number let me see go to group number five okay, okay. thank you my pleasure i'm ready okay tell me your activities okay in my work i have many some activities for example uh, I answer the phones because I, I give my, my dates or my Wi-Fi at 7.30 a.m. and answer the phones and to answer the WhatsApp, answer the call. Uh, to continue, I check emails. Uh, after that, I arrange the agenda. Uh, later, I call clients. Uh, then I sell products and I help uh, my clients. For example, I visit clients. Uh, in this moment, I take orders and I assist customers. And finally, I write reports for the next day. And tell me you about the, the activities in your work. Okay, I sell, I sell plane tickets, I call clients, I write emails, I answer emails, I talk with the customer, I assist customers, I sell products, and I attend meetings, and I write letters to the customers. Okay.
here you are with Oscar Eduardo Melendez and Henry Giovanni, and obviously Miss Carla, okay? Oscar Eduardo, are you ready? Yes. Okay, please share with your partners. Okay, uh, in my day or in my week, I have uh, assist customers, I call clients, I write to my clients too, I take art. Are you sharing class? Yes, teacher. Okay. Estamos terminando. Ah, okay. Great. Sí, teníamos similar activities. Sí, sí. sí did you hear our activities, Rosalía? No. Marisa Rosalía, and I finished teacher. And Daniel? I don't know. Danny, Daniel Ernesto Membreño Rivas, where are you? Knock, knock, are you there? Sí, sí solo que estoy ocupado ahorita, ya, okay. ya voy. Okay. Oh my God, sorry for the interruption. And Katherine? Okay, yes. Katherine. Uh, did you finish? Did you share with the partners? Um, yeah. Okay. So we are going to wait for Danny because he's busy right now. And let's see. Katia Maria and Miguel Angel, they are not available. Yeah. I know. So you see, everything is recorded in the class. <laughs> and it's course going to be like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Boom, 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 here. I think he's very busy. Danny is ready. Okay, busy. Ah, extremely busy. Extremely busy. Uh -huh, extremely busy that he cannot be interrupted. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> I think that probably we better get back, yes? Because you have to write a, a, a paragraph later on. And here we go. Let's close this activity. Okay. Let's get back. Let's return.
Here we go, class. In team number one, we have Edward Flores, eh, Edward Abrego, Henry Giovanni, Miss Carla Minero, and Edward Melendez. The three Edwards were in the same group. Okay, in class, I have a question for you. Did you find when you read all the activities that you do in a regular week at work, okay, did you find any coincidence? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. which one, which one? For example, checking and sending emails and sales products and assistant customer or an okay. assist customer. Okay, because some of you are in the customer service area. Excellent. Very well. What about number two? Room number two we have in there. Mm. Jennifer, uh, Yvonne, Menjiva, Noe Gustavo, and Sonia Esmeralda. Okay. Did you find out any coincidence, any activity that you do in common? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. In my, in my case, for example, uh, I call the clients, I assist consumer, I write a report, I say product, uh, I attend meeting, and I visit clients. Okay. And I take orders. Excellent, very well. And let's see, in room number five, we had as active students, Daniel Ernesto, Catherine Beatriz, Maritza, Elizabeth, and Rosalie, Yvonne, and Ursula Steli. Yes? Which were the activities that you read and you find, found out that you have in common class? We have in common uh, a report, attend meeting, answer the form, review the, the, the report or document, okay. and read and answer email. Excellent. That's it. Great. So if you notice, the people, uh, you have at least three or four activities in common, and they are check emails, answer emails, yes, uh, make uh, phone calls or contact clients, call the clients, yeah, or uh, assist uh, the clients, yeah. Very well. Now, class, congratulations. You did a good job. The ones who were very, very active, thank you so much for that. And then we move to our next activity. And it goes like this. Okay, here we went over this. Here we have everyday tasks. You did that activity because of this. Exercise number four, everyday task. And here we have, take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant. How different or similar are with yours? Meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees. Check the weekly schedule. Do you have any of these activities okay, in common with... Uh, Yours, tell me which one is in common with the activities that you have in a regular week at work. Okay, you you raise the awesome. hand. Okay, meet the head chef. Hi. Meet meet the head of the department maybe to review the 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 weekly agenda. That could be because the weekly menu not. Everybody works here in a in a restaurant, but do you meet with the head 
of the department or your area to review the weekly performance, maybe? Okay, Oscar Eduardo says yes. Yes, Oscar Eduardo, tell me. Okay, uh, the similar uh, with me uh, is talk to the staff about the change in the schedule and check the weekly schedule. Okay, thank you so much. I think that some of your partners or some of your classmates here have um, that activity in common, but right now we're going to listen to Miss Carla Minero. Okay, Miss Carla? In my case, I work uh, with promotional products and uh, my job is marketing and sales. Okay, and do you have any any common activity with these ones in exercise number four? Um, uh, it's similar, but with Not the same. marketing company about promotional souvenirs. It's okay. similar, but I am the opposite. Ah, okay. I I I, I work with with the the promotional products. Okay, that is part of your duty. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Another classmate? You don't check the weekly schedule class. Nobody. <gasps> Only two. Okay, now here, class, we have this. Write the task you do in your workplace. You already have that, yes? Because you did it previously. When I ask you to write your 10 activities that you do in a regular week at work. So you are going to write them over here. And you interview one of your classmates. Okay, and you are going to write over here the classmates' duties or activities. Let's imagine that Ursula and Miss Carla work in the same group and Yvonne Menjivar and Oscar Eduardo. So Ursula asks Carla, Miss Carla, what are your tasks okay, at work? And she says, I talk to potential customers. So she's going to write in here, Carla talks to potential customers. Yes, the other activity that maybe she does, she, um, tell me Carla, one activity that you do at work. I make some petitions or emails and I take orders. Okay, so Sometimes here. I buy products. Ah, okay, so you, you, ha you are kind of multitasking this. And then here, Carla buys products. So you are going to write the name of your classmate and the verb must be conjugated in the third person singular, correct? Because you're going to use the simple present tense. That is the purpose. And then Carla is going to interview Ursula and Ursula is going to write, I mean, Carla is going to write what Ursula is going to tell her. For example, she's going to write, this is just an idea. Uh, Esteli, because I think Ursula Esteli, maybe Esteli is her favorite. Esteli writes emails in third person singular, simple present tense. Is that okay? And then both of them are going to work one another. Oscar and who was the other partner here? Well, Let's imagine that Oscar is interviewing Noé. So Oscar Eduardo is going to write here what Noé is going to tell him. And Noé is going to write here what Oscar is going to tell him, but using the third person singular. Are the instructions clear? I don't want that everybody writes, for example, in that group, Estelis activities. No, you interview one another, okay? Because this is the instruction. So class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you start working on that, okay? Here we go. Because you already have the activities, yeah? Okay, before the rain comes, here we go. 
Join your groups, please, if you are so nice. Go to your groups. Thank you. Before the rain begins to fall. Hi. Okay, Rosalie and Miguel Angel, go to your groups. Please join the groups. Otherwise, you're not going to get the minutes of your attendance. Y lo vamos a escribir para poder contestar. Mm, sí, así sería. Can you tell me, Guillermo, what are some common cells of your jokes? Eh, eh, como... Sería en el cuadro de your days, for your Ajá. place. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque el otro dice your place me... Like. Okay. Okay, uh, sería mis tareas versus sus tareas. Mm -hmm. este, I call the client. Eh, I visit the client. Eh, I check the, the agent, agenda. Oh. También quiero ver. Sería como... Eh, I visit the client in my case. ¿verdad? I sell the product. Eh, I visit I visit client. I visit client. Okay. I write the reports. I write a report. Okay. Uh, I check the email. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I check tool. Eh, I shall, ¿Qué me dijiste? Oh, told. Edwin Esaú, you are a listener. And Reina, are no. you a listener? Eh, ahorita estamos comentando de la actividad. Ah, ok, great, excellent. Because I thought that, if, ok, if someone was alone, I have to move you. But it is in pair, so it's ok, yes? Ok. Ok, thank you. Um, I attend meeting. Ursula attend meeting. Attend, attend meeting. Yes. Yeah. Um, me falta la de la de Marisa. ¿Qué quimio? Marisa. Check, check, 
Okay, we have one uh, uh, activity of Daniel, one activity of Marisa, and one activity of Patrick. Decimos otra cada uno. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Daniel, tell us another activity, please. Install air conditioners. Install. Install. Another Marisa? Um, I, I saw like a shoe. Um, like a shoe. I review document. ¿Cuál es la suya, Marisa? Review document. Catering. Um, I order the inventory. You, and me, I write report. Okay. ¿Cuál fue la otra de Catherine? Order the inventory. Ok. Thank you. I think we finished, teacher. We have two activities for each. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are going to use that information in order to go over the next activity. Is that okay? Write the no, write the right, no, right now we get back. Yes? Yeah. Uh huh. And we share. Because uh, you remember, you had to write sentences that uh, probably are different from yours. Yes? In your classmates, yeah? Because you were supposed to write all the activities. Maritza was supposed to write all the activities that Catherine, for example, dictated to her. And Catherine was supposed to write all the activities that Maritza dictated her and so on. But anyway, since you're going to work the next activity in the group, it's no problem, okay? Let's get back because I need to take your second attendance. Okay. I expect that the people who were having problems with the, with the power and connectivity, they are back because of the heavy rain in some places. Okay, let's get back. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks a lot for your active participation class.
Okay, let's wait for the other partners. In a couple of seconds, they are going to be here. In seven seconds. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. Ana Cristina, absent. Andre is absent. Areli, Isabel, okay, absent. Carlos Enrique Rivas, Carlos Enrique, absent. Daniel Ernesto Membreño, Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Caroline. Absent. Edwin Esaú. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Evelyn Yamilet. Evelyn. Teacher. Okay. Yvonne Menjibar. Yvonne, where are you? Absent at the moment. Guillermo Eduardo. Sorry, yes. Sorry. Ella dijo, ellas dicen que se está lloviendo muy fuerte por su casa y que están yes, teniendo problemas. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. Guillermo is here. Present yeah. teacher. Okay. Actually, I'm having a heavy rain. If I vanish, please wait for me, okay? I'll be back. And then, Henry Giovanni. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer, just in time, Jennifer. You got back just in time, okay? Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores. Edward Flores. Present, okay. present, present, present. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Katia Maria. Katia, I saw you in the breakout rooms. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth. Here. Present. Miguel Angel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Oscar Eduardo Melendez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina, ah, you're here. Okay, Reina, you are here. Thank you. Rosalie, are you here, Rosalie? Yes. Okay. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. okay, Susan, Caroline, absent, and Esteli, here, thank I you, can. okay, class, I mean, I mentioned teacher. yes, I mentioned everyone, maybe you were I not didn't. connected, I didn't listen my name either, Ah, no, I'm going to recall, rewind the, 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 the recording of the class. Okay, hold it. I'm going to rewind it to make sure. I know, absent, Miss Carla. Okay, Noah, let me see. But I have here your name. 
and I have your attendance. No, eh? Yes. And is Elizabeth Ana Carla Minero Martinez. That's me. Yes. Didn't I mention her name, class? Tell me. Okay, I'm going to listen to the class again. I apologize for that, okay? I apologize for that because you're here. Thank you. And two thumbs up for the people who were actively practicing in the breakout rooms. Remember, practice makes perfect. If we don't try, we will never acquire the language. And right now, what you were working with, class, is going to be useful for you for this next activity. Write a five-line paragraph, not five sentences. No, no, no. Five-line paragraph. So you write one sentence here, period. You continue with the other, okay? Five sentences, but together as a paragraph. About the task your boss, your boss or a colleague does in your workplace. Let's imagine that I'm going to write about my boss. And here I say, uh, my supervisor hmm, checks the staff um, attendance to the office. For example, this is just an example, okay? This is one sentence, period, and then I continue because we're going to write a short paragraph. And then I say, he mm, checks the reports. Okay, the teachers reports. Then I continue with the next sentence because it is not a list of sentences. No, no, no. It is a short paragraph, okay? So you are going to write your sentences like this, but as a small paragraph, short paragraph. Is that okay? About what your boss does at work or one of your colleagues, but not about your partners here in class, but someone else. Is the instruction clear? Hello? Yes. yes okay, teacher. great. So go for it. And then you are going to read your paragraphs. Is that okay? When you finish, you let me know because it is individual. Yeah? Or do I have people working in the same company? Yes? No. Okay. Individually. Only five sentences. A five line paragraph. Ah, but this is one line and then we go over. So more than five sentences because it is not five sentences. It is five line paragraph.
As soon as you finish uh, class, please tell me, okay? Finish, okay. teacher. Okay, here we go. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. Please read your paragraph to the class. I'm going to stop sharing, okay? Read your paragraph. Okay, well, my supervisor starts his chief at 8 a.m. Then he talks with the personnel of the department. Also, he checks if everybody arrived on time to work. Then he writes reports of all the calls that the department has. Excellent, very well. Great, excellent. Very well done. Someone else who is already done class? Okay, we're going to wait for the others to finish. Yo, teacher. Okay, please go ahead, Danny. Number one. My boss attend meeting every day. And number two, my college as service client from 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. 7 at 3 p.m. Then number three, my boss reviews the inventory once every three months. Then number four, my supervisor pays me pay me overtime. Okay, number, thank you. Okay, continue, continue. Then number five, uh, my boss goes to the San Salvador every Monday. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all five. Okay, the only thing, Danny, is this that you were supposed to write only about your boss or about one of your colleagues, yes? In other words, tenía que escribir solo del jefe actividades que hace un párrafo de cinco líneas, ¿sí? O actividades que hace un colega, pero un párrafito de cinco líneas, no cinco oraciones, ¿ok? Ah, oh, no eran cinco oraciones. No, ah. es un párrafo, pero solo de su jefe. Activities okay. that your boss eh, does or one colleague, un colega, actividades que hace un colega. You don't have to mix them, okay? Okay. Okay, so you write it. Danny, can you stay with me after class, please? Yes. Daniel, ¿se puede quedar conmigo después de la clase, por favor? Yo. Yes, you, Daniel Ernesto okay. Membreño okay. Rivas. Okay, thank you so much. Noé, please read your sentences. Okay, teacher. I mean your um, paragraph, your paragraph. Yes, yes. My my colleagues, uh, Daniel, Daniel, attends the meeting every morning. Ten checks the agent, agenda to call the clients who will visit during the days. Ten checks the car and tolls. Checks the cars and tools. Yes? Yes, yes. Eh, okay. Very well. That's it. Thank you. Another partner? No, teacher. Okay, please, Edward Flores. Okay. Every morning, every morning, every morning, my boss check at 10 in the morning that the, uh, the personal. To continue send the eventualities or news at the supervisor. After that, he gave us to say a prior. Okay. And he reviewed the cashier for starting the, the, the day and send report for goals. And finally, send report for goals tomorrow. Okay, thank you. So he checks the The registrant 
cashier machine, yes? Yes. Okay, because if you, if he checks the register, uh, the cashier, the girl that is the cashier is going to be checked, yeah? The register checking machine, yeah? Thank you very well. Another partner? Hello, hello. It's time for you it's to... Good. Okay, thank you, sir. Go ahead. Please. Okay. My boss checks the attendance or the staff in her area. She has seen a supervisor the different activity they need to the worker on during on during the week. On Monday and Friday, he meet with supervisor to re to review the progress of the company strategic plan. Also collaborate and continuous improving training and performance evaluation. Okay, Jennifer, very well done, Henry Giovanni. Yes, Miss Jennifer. Okay, teacher. Está lloviendo, pero ojalá me escuche. Okay. Um, mamá de cashier. Sí. My cashier balances her cash register every day. She keeps track of which incoming and in outgoing money, then make daily sales reports to be sent to accounting. Um, client advice is not one of her responsibilities, but she collaborates with the sales area. She suggests solution and takes over a second in command after me or when I'm not there. Okay, thank you. Great, good job. And I listened perfectly to you. Thank you a lot. Miss Minero, are you ready? Yes. Okay. My, in my case, my boss is my husband. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see he, what he does. <laughs> he works as a production manager. He supervises um, the quality of the products that we, that I sell, and he checks. Uh, the logo of promotional products and if the, the logo is okay, the colors and the design, the size, and he manage the inks and the and he also manage the machines. We we have Sublimation, sublimate products, and I don't know how to say in English, serigraphia. Okay. Say that for Ah, they and work with... embroidery. Okay. In digital inputs. Uh, it is kind of sublimation? Yes. Yes, we have different types of techniques uh, okay. for to to put the oh, lab. It, it is a special art. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. We also sell um personally and for companies, and individually and for my major majority. Okay, a small amount and big amounts of products, yes. yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. Great, very well done. Thanks a lot. So, two thumbs up for all the participants. You did a great job. And now, class, I need you to activate the cameras, please, if it is possible, because this rain in some places is, you know, kind of crazy. But here we go. Thanks a lot. And remember, Danny, you're going to stay with me after class, okay?
Daniel, are you here? Everything is recorded, Danny. So you have to stay with the class, with me. Okay, one, two, three. Say yes. And now, here we go. Magic was done. I'm going to share it with you in the breakout rooms. I know in some places uh, it is kind of electric storm, yes? But we finished the class. I really appreciate your attendance. Remember to continue working on the platform because tomorrow is our class number 10. Tomorrow we're going to finish unit number two, okay? So you need to finish section number two and the midterm test. Class, relax, sleep well, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining until very late. Bye-bye. God bless you. Sweet dreams. Good night. Okay. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank Only Daniel night. stays with the teacher. Bye-bye. Yeah. Daniel, where are you? Ah, here. I see you. I see you. Okay. Bye-bye, Edwin Esau. Bye-bye, Miss Minero. Okay, Dani, here we go. Um, I'm going to uh, share with you, but I'm going to wait until, okay, right now, here, the activity, probably um, okay, over here. Let's read the instructions, Danny. Write a five-line paragraph, a short paragraph, okay, about the task your boss or a colleague does in your workplace. I wrote here, for example, my supervisor checks the staff attendance to the office. He checks the teacher's reports because I am a teacher, correct? So I'm going to eliminate this and here we go. You did it, but the only thing is that you mixed your boss activities with the colleagues activities, right? And it is not a list of activities. We are going to write a paragraph. Okay, tell me, Danny. What are the activities? Are you going to describe the activities that your boss does or one of your colleagues does? Uh, one. Only one. Only one. Uh -huh. the, boss. the boss. Okay, you the say boss. my boss. <laughs> Look for them. Look for them. No problem. Okay, great. My boss. In, in this day, was uh, my boss attend meeting every day. Okay, so, hold it. Hold sure. it. Attends meetings Ten meeting every, every day. day. Uh -huh. The first client. From 7, 7 a.m. at 3 p.m. Okay, he attends clients. No, he attends, no. He assists. Assists uh, clients from 7 a.m., yes? At, at 3 p.m. From 7 a.m., Two, three, yeah. Uy, two, three, hold it. Uy, two, three, PM. Okay, another sentence. Extra inventory at the uh, at uh, three PM. He does the but this is your boss. Yes. This is your jefe, sí. Yes, it does yes. the, the inventory until 3 p.m. Until yes. 3, hasta las 3. Yes. Until 3 p.m. Okay. Another activity that he does. And to provide my other time. He, okay, he uh, supervises my overtime. Okay, he pays my overtime. 
¿ya? Yeah. What else does he do? What else does he do? ¿Qué más hace? Mm -hmm. mm, he attends meetings every day. He assists clients from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. He does the inventory until 3 p.m. He supervises my overtime. He pays my overtime. Uh, does he open the facilities, the company, or no? Do you yes. think that do you think that he reads emails? Oh, yeah, the email. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah. We, uh, he reads emails, yeah? We, emails. He answers emails. Yes? Mm -hmm. So you see, he does more activities. Mm -hmm. He, okay. Does he have uh, meetings with the staff? No. No. Meetings with the staff. Check in the division manager. Okay, so we write he has. He has meetings with the staff. Yes? What time does he leave from work? He leaves from work at, what time does he go home? What time does he go home? What time does he go home? Uh-huh, your boss? Uh, uh, he, he at two uh, or three? No, I'm Ah, he leaves from work at 4 p.m. And that's it. And then you have your paragraph, okay? Did you see? My boss attends me every day. He assists clients from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. He does the inventory until 3 p.m. But, okay. Uh, he supervises my overtime. Yes. We. Um, he pays my overtime. He reads emails. He answers emails. Uh, he has meetings with the staff. He leaves from work at 4 p.m. And that's it. Yes. But this is a paragraph. Okay. Not a list of sentences. And now we're going to practice this conversation, okay? I am Celia and you are Marcos. Ready? Ready, Danny? Yes. Okay, I begin. Good morning, Marcos. How is the, your day going? Very good. I just finished inventorying some important employees. Then I have to tell them stuff about some hands in the kitchen. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, we scheduled some of the tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about it? Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I told. Ordering the inventory was unit job. Okay, now you begin and I continue. You start. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? What's up, usual? Checking the 
that Dorkana is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, one more uh, conversation. We're going to practice this one. Ben and Matthew. I am Ben and you are Matthew. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm delighted that everybody on this day because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shifts for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have to the morning and after my shift. And Tom and Kate have half the evening shift. Now let's switch. You are Ben and I am Matthew. You begin. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has a early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay? So. Thank you so much for giving me your time, Mr. Danny. And I expect and I hope to have helped you writing the activities that your boss does in the short paragraph, okay? So continue working on the platform and uh, have you taken the midterm test in week number two? Yes or not yet? Wow, de las tareas. Uh-huh. Ya uh, hizo mañana. la semana dos. Ya, nah, por mañana, tomorrow. Uh -huh. Y tiene que tomar el examen. Ahí hay un examencito corto, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Por okay. mañana, vamos. Ok, sí. I hope so. Thank you so much. Have a good night, sleep tight, and enjoy your dreams. Ok, have a good Thank night. You. Bye bye, my pleasure. Bye bye.